counsel for the deputy president. Your Good evening, Mr. Muloa. Good evening. My name is Dewan I will be asking you several questions in respect to the testimony that you have just delivered. When did you join the KEMSA? I joined KEMSA on the 17th of, uh, September of March 2023. Before that, who was the CEO of the organization? Terry Marek Ramadan. Terry. Were you there as and when the alleged tender processes were uh, taking place? No. Who was in charge of that process as at then? Terry Ramadan. Terry Ramadan. Therefore, the issues that you are testifying before this assembly, are they issues that you saw, perceived, or they are issues that you are told? One, they are issues that my opponent... Were you told or you saw? I am... It's a simple question. I was not told. Yes. Neither did I see. At what process you are not told and neither you never saw? I was involved you were involved in at, at the your time you joined the organization what stage of the tendering process was it the tender had just been terminated there were investigations the tender had been terminated yes you therefore never participated in that particular process whatsoever for, for whatever purpose yes i participated in a very big way all right in the would sense you then lead this assembly to understanding your participation in that tender this matter was a matter that one what exactly did you do that relates to this tender i participated in the investigations on this uh, tender so by you participated ESCC, excuse me by ppra by the senate by the national okay. assembly but at the time when the beads were alive the bidding was alive you had not joined i was not in kemsa and therefore, the issues you are testifying before this assembly are not issues that you witnessed. Not issues that are executed. Thank you. Now, what was the status of the tent at the time you came or you joined? I actually joined KEMSA as a result of this tender. No, I'm not asking why you joined. What was the status? The tender had been terminated. The tender had been terminated. Do you know of any company that is associated with the deputy president that succeeded in this particular tendering process? For purposes of... Do you know or you do not yes, know? Yes, Shobika had been, yes. uh, had been recommended for award, but had, since it was, was cancelled, it did not proceed. Was the award granted to Shobika? No. Do you know why the award was not granted? Yes, I know. Yes, because uh, Global Fund do a pre-award review of every evaluation of Global Fund funded tenders. And after doing a pre-award review, they did not agree with the Technical Evaluation Committee that so had evaluated the tender and recommended for cancellation of the tender. Thank you. You've answered. So it's as a result of the review of all the, the bids that culminated into the cancellation of the tender, correct? Yes. And how many companies had bidded in that particular process? I cannot remember, but maybe seven, nine or seven, I cannot remember. You cannot remember because you never participated, yes? Yes or no, the, the, Mr. Witness? If, if I get the record, I would, I would remember. And so show him the records. Okay. He has it. Show him his affidavit in volume one. In that volume one, that is at page Honorable Senators, the National Assembly, Volume 1, at page 67 and 68. Did you indicate the companies that participated in that process? I did not indicate the companies that... Uh, you chose to conveniently refuse to indicate them, correct? Uh, correct or not correct? I don't need an explanation. Not correct. Why didn't you indicate the companies that participated in that particular process? My affidavit 
You have is David premised, has explained it. My affidavit is premised on... Okay, I know your affidavit. Yes. I have read it several times, but my question is very specific. Why did you leave out the other companies that participated in the process? For purposes of, the, of my affidavit, I did not find it necessary to Never include. thought it necessary. Now, confirm that Shobika company was never ever awarded the tender. The tender was cancelled. The tender was cancelled. Did the Republic of Kenya lose any money as a result of the award not being granted to Shobika? Yes, it did. Did the Deputy President have anything to do with it? The, the did procurement... the Deputy President have anything to do with it? I wouldn't say the Deputy President. I'm asking, you know, we are no. here because of the Deputy President. Did he have anything to do with it? A company related to... I'm asking, Ad. did he have anything to do with it? It's a simple question. Yes Pass. or no? I already have... Yes, uh, and you'll, you'll, you'll furnish me with an answer. I've said yes, because the company that is associated with him had been irregularly awarded. Had been irregularly awarded. Did, do you know that this matter was subject of investigation by Parliament? Yes, I am. Did you participate in that investigation? Yes. Honorable Senators, refer with me to page, at page 183, volume 3 of the Deputy President's bundle. Volume 3, Honorable Senators. That is the report. We'll go with me to page 220. At page 220, Mr. Witness. Can I get the document? Give him, give him something. Give him the copy. You can get for him. For him. Volume three. Page two twenty. You can you see confirm that those were the companies that participated in that particular tender, yes? At page 20, 220. Yes, there are some 17 bidders. There are, how many are they? 17. Go to page 221 and you read, can you see why it is written 100? Yes. Can you read out that statement? In its report, dated 25th April 2023, Global Fund noted that KEMSA had failed to apply evaluation criteria consistently to all bidders and that none of the bidders met the minimum requirements. None of the bidders met the minimum requirements. How many bidders did not meet the minimum requirement? For purposes of this report, what the Global Fund is talking about are the 17. All the 17. Yes. And therefore, Shobika was not an exception, correct? Shobika was not an exception it never qualified correct yes now look at where we have page uh, at paragraph 105 yes can you see where we have roman b so we have b can you see b 105 paragraph 105 b uh -huh. yes can you read what b says a global fund document reported that the bid bond for shobika impex was not paginated and the management of kemsa argued that the bid bond was not part of the bid, but was rather an accompaniment. What is that? What does that mean? I think I had a not thinking, this. reading, and understanding. It means, and I had said exactly the same, that this document was not submitted as part of the tender document, but was brought in as ordinary mail. While in normal procurement, bid documents you, can should you look be at part paragraph of the procurement. Or, can you go to page? 
2.22 and look at paragraph 106. Uh, notwithstanding Kemp's reservation in the letter dated 4th May, the acting director procurement recommended the termination of a process. Yes. The Fe CEO approved on the 5th and the termination was communicated to all the bidders. So there was a termination of the bidding process, correct? Yes. As a result of non-responsiveness of all the bids, correct? As a result yes. of non-responsiveness. Yes, after Global Fund deferred with the KEMSA Technical Evaluation Committee. Did the Deputy President have anything to do with that? I would not say. Would you associate that to the Deputy President? I am not competent to talk about that. I am asking, do you associate that process with the Deputy President? I cannot comment on that. You will comment. Do you associate because that? Because I don't, I don't know. Here we are not in a hospital. We are in a court seeking to save the life of a man you want to be impeached. Do you associate that with the Deputy President? I am saying, I don't know. What don't you know? Whether this has uh, uh, everything to do with the Deputy President. Because the bids were terminated by Global Fund as a result of irregular evaluation. Irregular think, evaluation of how many companies? Of 17. 17 companies. Yes. Thank you. Look at paragraphs 107 at page 22 once, 222 once again. Yes? 107? Mm -hmm. It says it was further a testimony that the authority had struggled to maintain autonomy owing to undue interference from the Cabinet Secretary for Health. Whose, authority, whose testimony is this? I don't know. Read paragraph, go to, paragraph, go to page 19. Page, page 219. Can you see where you have C submissions by Ms. Terry Ramathani? Yes. Therefore, this is a statement, correct? And I would not say whether they are correct or not. Read. Read, yeah, Mr. They are, they are, yeah, they are Terry Ramathani. So we understand who is now speaking at, page, at one, paragraph 17, correct? Yes. Read it then. It was further the testimony that the authority had struggled to maintain autonomy owing to undue interference from the Cabinet Secretary for Health. The authority had failed to maintain autonomy due to the interferences by? Yes, that is Terry's statement. Read it. By the Cabinet Secretary for Health. Have you seen any interference that indicates that the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya interfered with the process? I have not. From seen the report? And I cannot own or disown I'm asking, not my statement. have you seen that statement speaking to the person of the Deputy President? It is not. Thank it's you. Not mine. And it speaks as to who was interfering with the processes, correct? That's not my statement. Read. But it's not mine. It's... Yeah, I know it's not yours. That's so I cannot own a statement that is not mine. I have not asked you to own it. I've asked you a simple thing, to read the statement as indicated. Who was interfering with the processes and the autonomy of KEMSA? According to that statement. According to the statement, the Cabinet Secretary for Health. Who, 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 uh, what is the name of that Cabinet Secretary? As at it's then? Not indicated. Let's proceed as I finish up. Let's go to page 226. At paragraph 136, what is the assembly parliament saying? In the late April. In the late April? He learned from the Global Fund. Uh, pre -award Who learned? I don't know. Look at the submissions at page 225. Myself. Who learned? The acting CEO, which is me. Who was that? Me. Uh, what did you learn? I learned in late April uh, that uh, the Global Fund pre-award review report that the L Alliance tender was to be cancelled on account of inconsistencies in the bid evaluation. Do you still maintain the position that you gave or you want to... It's exactly what I said. That's exactly what you say. Yes. And therefore that does not link or has no nexus with the Deputy President whatsoever, correct? I think you are wrong. What did you say? You are not right on that one. Read what does the statement say? What did you say? What did you say in Parliament? It says the global fund pre-award review that L9 tender was to be cancelled on account of inconsistencies in the evaluation. It is the inconsistencies in evaluation that recommended an award to a bidder that had not paginated documents Mr. which Mr. was not, which Mr. was Mr. a mandatory requirement. I have not asked you that question that you are attempting to answer. 
I've just simply asked you to read what you stated before Parliament. Then a question will follow. And you read in verbatim. I have read. Yes, read it again. I learned that the Global Fund pre award review report that the LLN tender was to be cancelled on account of inconsistencies in the bid evaluation. And what the was the reason for the cancellation? Inconsistencies in evaluation. In evaluation. Yes. Who was evaluating that tender? Technical Evaluation Committee. Does the Deputy President sit in that tender committee for he evaluation? Doesn't. He doesn't. Was he involved? Uh, okay, let's look at paragraph 30, uh, 38. Yes? Again, what are you saying at paragraph 138? And 38 says, he further maintains that the advisory to the PS, State Department of Public Health and Professional Study, on the alleged inconsistency in the technical specification neither passed through his office or the head of department uh, for the strategic programs, health programs, but was forwarded directly to the PS by one Dr. Omar, the head of malaria program. Mr. Witness, you are aware why we are here, yes? Yes, I am. Do you understand the charge in respect to this matter that the Deputy President is facing? I am here to... Do you understand? I understand. You understand that you allege that you are intimid intimidated and bullied by the Deputy President, correct? Yes, I understand. And that is contained in your evidence, correct? Yes. Why were you being bullied, if at all it ever happened? I want to believe. Not to believe. We are not dealing with beliefs here. OK. We are dealing with the facts. I was bullied to su submit bid document bid for Shobika. When was the, can the tender canceled? In late April. In late April. As at that time, had you joined KEMSA? I had not. You had not joined. When were you purportedly called by the Deputy President? In August. In August. At that time, was a tender alive or July. it had been cancelled? Yeah. At that time, was a tender alive or it had, it had, had been, been cancelled? What happens upon the cancellation of a tender to bidders who had submitted their documents? Bid books are returned. Bid books are returned. As a routine process. As a routine process. Therefore, it is normal of somebody, a company that has bidded to make follow-ups with the bids, correct? Yes. Yes? Yes. And that the follow following of those bids for purposes of returning them to their uh, rightful owner does not violate the Public Procurement and Disposal Act, correct? I was in Kemsa. Does not violate, Mr. Witness. Does not violate. That's the question. Thank you. Now... Mr. Witness, as I finish, you understand that you wrote several, several letters that you have annexed in your affidavit, correct? Yes. And the first letter is the one that is appearing in volume one of the National Assembly's bundle of document at page 70, <coughs> correct? Page 70. Se 70. Correct? Yes, yes, yes. And that is an alleged, what, what, is, what document is that? Uh, These are uh, WhatsApp conversations between myself and Dr. Ikino Rukathi. Yes? WhatsApp conversations between myself and Dr. Ikino Rukathi. Uh, how would you ordinarily be able to tell that this conversation has come from this particular platform? One, this is on Which my platform phone. was this? WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp. Which number is, is there? And I want you to specifically look. The number is already saved, that's why it's written Dr. Ikino Rigathi, because it's already saved on my phone and therefore cannot show the number. If I had not saved the number, you probably would have gotten the number. When you receive a message from my WhatsApp, when I receive a message on my WhatsApp, when you send me a message, does it indicate the source? Yes. Does it also indicate the recipient? I, I mean... That does if, it indicate the recipient? It indic if the recipient... Does it or does it not? It, whether number or saved a contact. So in these circumstances, where is your number that indicates that you are the recipient of this message? There is no. There is none. Yeah. And therefore, this is a concussion of the truth and a fabrication and a forgery of documents. I've sworn this under off. My phone is okay, still with me okay. and you... can be availed to competent uh, agencies of law to What investigate. explanations do you give for the lack of your 
print of the num your phone number in this conversation. This is what... Uh, what, my, what explanation do you give? I am not a, a techno person, so I cannot configure how my phone displays messages. But you and, confirm and stuff. that this is but not this usual. Is, this is what is on my phone. If I give you my phone and I open the conversation, okay. it will appear as it is here. Do, do you extract a certificate for this purpose? Was a certificate showing the source of this information extracted? Uh, you will need to it, clarify. I am a doctor, remember? I don't know what a certificate is. When you generate a printout from your phone, your advocate is required to certify that this document has been generated or emanated from a particular gadget. Do you see that certificate incorporated in these proceedings? I, I said I don't know what that is. There is none. Unless my advocate shows. I therefore put it to you that this never originated from your phone, nor did it originate from my client's son, Dr. Ikino Rigati. That's a lie. That's not true. So what did you find intimidating in this message? I said, like I said. Would you read, would you read, would you read out what the message states? This is Dr. Ikino Rikathi here. Kindly contact me when possible. There is a document for His Excellency we are trying to collect. What, what is Dr. Ikino telling you? There is a document he's trying to collect. How is that intimidating? As an acting CEO. How is that officer. intimidating? How did you in get intimidated by that statement? I am the one who received the message, counsel. And I am the one who felt intimidated. And I am stating before this Honorable Senate that I felt intimidated. Okay, let's go to the next paragraph, the next page, page 71. What, what document is that and what is it dated? Uh, this is 12th June, notification for tender for LLINs. Yes. 12th June 2023 to... Uh, what does the statement read? What, what's the content of the letter? Reference is made to the above tender which we participated in and were unsuccessful. We wish to collect the original tender documents that are bid, bid bond for the same tender. Who is the source of that letter? Shobika. Shobika. Yeah. And what is he saying? He's saying, uh, kindly issue the original bid bond to the bearer of this letter. Was that no, anything, yeah. Is there anything unusual by as a, an unsuccessful bidder seeking no, to have the refund? Nothing unusual. Okay, let's go to paragraph to the next page, 72. Again, when is it dated? Uh, 30th of June. Uh -huh. What is it? What's the content of the letter? I am, uh, it's signed by me. Yes. Uh, to Shombika. Yes. And I was uh, uh, replying to their letter. Uh, and what are you saying? And I'm telling them that I uh, want to inform them that the subject 10 is under investigation and all the documents related to the tender are not in, uh, in, in, in our custody. And therefore, uh, I also informed them that uh, we, had, we have written, we had written, we yes. wrote to Ethics and the Corruption Commission yes. to release the original bid bond. Was the tender returned? Request. Was the bid returned? It was not immediately returned. Yes. Did it, you get a communication from the ESCC in that respect? Not immediately. What did the ESCC indicate? They indicated. And that was way later. Did the ESCC they, return? They responded. Yes, they responded. But they, I had to personally follow up. You had after personally the follow up. Yes. But was a bid returned? I personally picked it after the calls. When you are forwarding the bid to Shobika in your letter dated the 11th July, can you see that letter? Yes. What did you indicate at the footnote? I indicated that uh, you may, however, be required to provide the same document as and when required. For, for, for what purpose? I informed them. Uh, ESCC had handed over the document. Have you made any attempts to seek the return of that bid from Shabika? I am no longer in Kemsa. You're no longer so in Kemsa. I, I, I do, Finally, I where and what became of your predecessor? Terry Ramathan. Uh, she was discharged from the authority, I think sometimes in... But you now understand that she's serv serving as an ambassador in New Delhi, correct? I cannot confirm. Do you live in this country? 
Yes, I do. No further questions. Council but, for the National Assembly, you may proceed with the explanation. Mr. Mullo, you were referred to certain aspects of the deputy president's 